welcome to one of five mini lectures for final year civil engineering students on the topic of geosynthetics. We aim to assist students in civil engineering and geotechnical engineers in understanding more about geosynthetics, which have emerged as a common solution in civil engineering projects over the past 50 years. With a basic understanding of geosynthetics, engineers are better placed to understand the applications, functions, design considerations, and the various geosynthetic product categories. The program consists of seven mini lectures over three years of the engineering course, from second to fourth year. It moves from an introductory discussion through an intermediate stage in third year before focusing during fourth year on some common functions and applications. This unit is aimed at final year civil engineering students. In this unit, we look at typical application areas for geosynthetics within the mining industry. Mining is a huge industry worldwide. Geosynthetics are increasingly used in mining infrastructure from pit to port. Whilst the fundamentals of mining infrastructure are no different to mainstream civil engineering constructions, any differences are usually in scale and lifespan. Mining projects are often massive. The lifespan of a mine is generally much shorter than that of a general use highway or railway. The loads applied to mining infrastructure also far exceed those applied to mainstream infrastructure. Construction timeframes are often more challenging. Sites can be extremely remote and material selection can be limited. A variety of techniques are used to extract the ore from beneath the Earth's surface. Mines can be underground or open cut. Extracted minerals are transported from the pit to port by various means, often on railways specifically built for the purpose. Some minerals require intermediate processes between pit and port. Like railways, port facilities are often purpose-built for the large vessels that move minerals internationally. In this unit, we consider applications of geosynthetic products in all areas of mining. Today, Civil engineers rely on geosynthetic products to help them design and deliver projects quicker and safer with less environmental impact. Geosynthetic applications are examined in five distinct areas of mining. Ground support, retaining structures, containment, environmental, underground. First, let's look at ground support, how the earth supports the massive loads commonly found in mining projects. Mines are essentially massive earthworks projects. All mines excavate and then transport material to its end use or to export. Reinforcement of the soil is often required to support the very large infrastructure that enables these activities. This section looks at the use of geosynthetics in this infrastructure, that is, haul roads and site access, stockpiles and embankments, railways. Roads form the backbone of a mine's infrastructure and cost-effective and reliable pavements are required to ensure optimum mine output.
Mine haul roads are subjected to far higher loadings, which lead to thicker pavements or reduced maintenance intervals. Mine haul roads are rarely sealed, and they rarely use imported aggregate. They are made from what is available on site. You can see the massive scale of open cut mines and how haul roads are an integral part of the excavated structure. As well as massive individual loads, high volumes of traffic must be withstood over the life of the mine. Continuous mine operation is critical at all times of the year and in any weather. This presents some difficult challenges for design engineers. The engineer's challenge is to use existing soils to build a sufficiently strong haul road. Geosynthetics are often used to provide reinforcement at the sub-base level and also at the surface. They give the engineer options. A geogrid within the road formation can reduce the required thickness of a road. A geocell used on the road surface can increase its durability. Here you can see a biaxial geogrid. It has strength in both directions and interlocks with the soil particles to form a stronger haul road base. Road base material is placed on top of a rolled out geogrid and geotextile. The geotextile provides separation, while the geogrid provides the reinforcement function. At the surface or crust of the haul road, a geocell can be used to provide increased durability. It spreads the load and holds the surface in place by preventing lateral movement of the soil particles. Geocells come in panels instead of rolls. They are expanded, laid out and filled with locally available surface material. These geosynthetic products increase the limited options available to engineers when dealing in remote areas with local materials. The engineer must ensure that underlying soils can withstand the massive loads applied by mining stockpiles. Loads that are often significantly greater than for mainstream civil engineering structures. Embankments in the mining arena may not be significantly larger than in other areas, but they must often be built rapidly in very difficult environments. Consider a bund wall in an all-new port facility built in a remote area on extremely weak soils. Here we see an embankment being built. The ground beneath needs to withstand the load of the embankment itself, plus the infrastructure and machinery on top of the embankment. In mining, that machinery is often massive. Before the embankment is built, engineers need to consider the strength of the underlying soil. Embankments can even be built out to sea, such as this example of a bund wall being constructed to expand port facilities. The underlying soil is too weak to withstand the load. A geosynthetic reinforcement was rolled out before the embankment material was deposited.